Welcome back to the terrible playthrough. My name is Mushkash and today we're going to go for the poker game. So in the last uh, mission we had uh, three different uh, jobs to do. One was the poker game, the other one was the bank and the third one was uh, some other place that Bronte said that money. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. So anyway, we're going with the ju Dutch job, yes, which implies Rolani. We are playing on the riverboat this year. Some buying a suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. Is it this one? You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good yeah, tonight, I guess it is this one. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> no, don't be so jaded. As long as it doesn't kill Javier. No, this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but especially we with everything going wrong right before this. We'll be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. No, oh, are we going to the barber? My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Trulani is so nice. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No. It's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Right, he looks nice like this. Let's see the beard. Extra clean shave. He looks like a gentleman now. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Oh, nice. Another gentleman of distinction, I'm guessing. Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're brown. He's got his clothes coming out of the of the van. Which reminds me, no of the seat. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Saint Ham. Look at that. <laughs> so, who's a mark? 
But I'm guessing, like, from what I've played, like, it's been a fun game. I'm not gonna give him shit for this. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips? Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met <laughs> in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Hey, partner. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. Yeah. People are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Well, just got my name. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I it's funny. Some, uh... In this type of uh, games, I can deal with um, what's it called, with gambling. But in real life, I'm never really a fan. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. No, he's saying not to go. Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if he's right, because I have good cards for this. Here we go then. No, queen and a nine, I'd need uh, a knight. Hello, my lady. And I don't know if. Uh... Wait. Mr. Blind wins. Okay, maybe he was right. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... Yeah. I just look better in a suit. To the queens. I stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Uh, 
Okay, let's even my money. Okay, if he says so, let's go. Call. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. Nice. Ship. Ship. I guess my luck Although, to be honest, with the guy over there bust. telling me what to do, it kind of ruins the fun of gambling. Meaning. There were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. I don't know watches. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Okay, two kings. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Against two kings. Worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yeah, it says to go. Well, Let's go then. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hair cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little. Wait, what? How? Blinds, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You. No offense. None thing. Well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please. Yeah, I wasn't expecting out. that. Uh, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. It feels Come like me, relying too much on luck. Come me, sir. I'm just saying script-wise, this thing of um, Javier being the one. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> oh, for fuck's we sake. strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but Vienna, I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it's oh, really this guy gets shot. a handsome piece. Foreign made, but actually no, because if we start shooting in a boat, we're no way, well, no way we're going to go back. Give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Archie. Just rob this guy. Can't rob that guy, so let's take this guy. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Huh? Oh, shit. Let's hope no one heard that. Yeah, let me take the money first. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. A few thousand. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Right, let's go. 
reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. Don't have a gun belt or a satchel. Great. Sounded like one. Come on. Ah, crap. Are we going to escape this? How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what. Oh, great! Nobody knows what we're going to do. Only in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> ah! Okay. Yeah, shooty shoot. That's not a person. <laughs> I tried to shoot the first guy and I shot the second. I can barely see them. Well, nice shot for someone. But. Almost out of energy. Okay, move up. Oh shit, that's Javier. After that last mission in... Uh, I forgot the name of the town. Oh, here we are. Yeah, after that last mission in town where Sean died. I've learned that if somebody says move up, you move up, you don't stay there, because uh, that's how I died. Well, well we ruined the suit. Moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. A few thousand. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, so... Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Is the watch still working after the water? I seriously doubt that. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here, hope you guys enjoyed, see you next time.